We're live. Hello, and welcome to the Virtual Talent Showcase Meet and Greet Fundraiser in support of Delegate Dolores McQuinn. My name is Bertie Jameson, and I'm joined tonight by my dynamic co-host, Carlia Swanson. Thank you. We are thrilled to have you all here with us to support Delegate McQuinn's campaign. This is a very special night because not only has Delegate McQuinn been a light in my life, but she has also been a beacon of light and had a positive impact on the lives of countless other people. That's right. As we all know, Delegate McQuinn is a tireless advocate for our community, and she's been a champion for our values in the State House. During her time in the Virginia House of Delegates, she has championed education, fought for social justice, supported economic development, improved health care, and preserved historic landmarks. But we understand that running for office can be challenging, and that's why we are here tonight to help support her campaign and to ensure that she can continue fighting for us. We have a great program lined up for you tonight. We will be hearing from some incredible speakers, enjoying some amazing entertainment, and of course, accepting donations to support Delegate McQuinn's campaign. Tonight, we want to remind you that every donation counts. No amount is too small and every dollar directly supports Delegate McQuinn's campaign. So please be as generous as you can and donations can be made here. All right, we are flashing up the um, site where you can make donations to Act Blue. So please um, record that information so that the donations can stream through all night. So without further ado, let's get this special event started. For Delegate McQuinn, faith is an essential part of her life. As a pastor and a community leader, she is guided by her spiritual beliefs. We often refer to Delegate McQuinn as the moral compass of the General Assembly. So it is only fitting for us to call upon one of Delegate McQuinn's talented, lifelong friends, Reverend Dr. Janet K. Copeland, to bless us with an opening prayer and a musical selection. Dr. Copeland is an associate pastor at St. John Baptist Church. She recently retired as their minister of music, and she is well known throughout the state as a dedicated and talented musician. Here is Dr. Copeland.
Thank you, Dr. Copeland, for that beautiful prayer and inspirational musical selection. What a spiritual anointing we have already received. Yes, she certainly set the tone for our celebration of Delegate McQuinn. At this time, we would like to present our honoree of the night, the Reverend Doctor, the most honorable Delegate Dolores L. McQuinn. She is coming to us live from the McQuinn home where supporters have gathered for a watch party for this event. Hello. 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 Thank you. Good evening to everyone. It is indeed, I am humbled and honored to be here tonight. And thank you so much, Dominique and Bertie, for your, you know, just for, uh, organizing this and making this happen. I am, obviously it is a watch party and I have some little grandkids in the background uh, who are watching. Um, but uh, it is, I, I, I am so humbled uh, as I'm surrounded by family and friends tonight uh, in person and virtually. Um, it is amazing how far we have come as a society uh, where we can be near and far yet collectively all of us doing the same thing basically at, at uh at the same time but at a different place and uh technology and communication makes a difference and so thank you to all of my friends anyone who's logged in uh from other states or from wherever you are i appreciate it um i also appreciate each and every one of you taking your uh, time taking time out of your business schedule to support me and my campaign. It really means so much to me to have just uh, individuals who have been so supportive over the years. Believe it or not, I am, I guess I've been elected official since 1992. And, and, uh, and I'm not tired yet. Uh, I'm still trying to make it happen. Everybody around me may be tired, especially some of the family members. But certainly I am not because I do believe that God has called me for such a time as this um, to be here, to make a difference and to bring about transformational changes. Um, tonight, I am grateful also for the many individuals who's going to be sharing their talent, their time and talent and those who will be sharing their treasures tonight. I believe that. Um, all of this requires, uh, require, God has required us to share those gifts and talents with others, no matter what they are. And so as we celebrate tonight, um, and I know that this has uh, 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 been organized around what I'm doing, my efforts and my campaign, but also I want us to celebrate those talented artists who will be sharing with us tonight and to kick it off my uh, what, what do you say? The bestest friend uh, since early uh, in that teenage years. Uh, it was so good to hear her as she always blesses my heart uh, in song. And so I want to bring um, not only in terms of the talent that people are sharing tonight, but it's important for us to also to understand um, to the degree in which uh, and the time that we're in. Uh, as it relates to voting, as it relates to election process, and that we uh, be diligent in making certain that those individuals that represent us are representing our best interests. And that is everything, whether it's economic development, housing, uh, criminal justice reform, uh, you know, transportation, you know, you name it. We need people who are going to think uh, as we think and have our best interests at, at heart. Um, God has certainly called all of us for such a time as, that, as this. And so it is no in, uh, accident that we are here and doing what we are doing. And I believe that we are uniquely chosen uh, to do God's plan, to carry out kingdom assignments, and to always remember that he has appointed us, and hopefully we are carrying out uh, the task that God has put before us. 
just for those who don't know, and maybe um, just for a, a few more minutes, um, I just want to share, I, I come from humble beginnings uh, as a, uh, a, a, a one of 12 growing up in Eastern Henrico County. And my mom and dad was very uh, diligent in making certain that we were in church, first of all, and that church, those churches allowed us the opportunity to serve. And I began serving at a very, at, I began serving at a very, some, I have a, a I have a, a, a helper here. I began serving at a very early age um, with the NACP and volunteering for uh, the Honorable Henry L. Marsh, who became one of our senators and also was the mayor. And, um, and I guess the rest is history for me. From that time on, I have been serving and it's been an honor to serve the people that God has placed in my life to serve. Uh, and those are individuals who are historically underserved and marginalized. I've stood up for diversity, equity, and inclusion, and I have advocated for justice for all. And not only for justice, but to tell the truth. Um, it is the biblical reference that the truth shall set us free. And I believe that we are given every opportunity to do that. And so I will continue uh, along that line in terms of establishing a legacy of servant leadership. And I will always fight to make sure that I have the best interests of our community at heart. I hope I have earned your support and it would be my honor and privilege to continue to serve you and to advocate in the Virginia House of Delegates on the behalf of those citizens in the 81st district, but also of uh, every person that lives in the Commonwealth of Virginia. So tonight, thank you again in advance for your words of support and for your generous donations to my campaign. And to again, our talented artists, uh, I look forward to enjoying you, to hearing from you, and uh, as you share the gifts and talents that God has given you. I know we're going to have a good time tonight, and I'm looking forward to the day on time. God bless you, and thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Delegate McQuinn, for those inspirational words. You know, I always say that, that you, that you are the best. And now we have a special <laughs> message from a very special surprise guest. Uh, we're not going to tell you who it is. She's going to tell you uh, in her remarks. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Delegate Dolores McQuinn's special virtual event. I wish we were all in person, but this is a great idea and it's so much fun. So I hope you all at home or wherever you are are fired up and ready to reelect the People's Delegate, the incredible Delegate Dolores McQuinn. So I know we spend so much time these days talking about Republican governors all around the country, of course, including our own Governor Yunkin and the, the bills that they're introducing and how they're trying to roll back all of our progress. But let's not forget all that we have achieved when we were in the majority. And it was my distinct honor and privilege to serve as the 56th Speaker of the House of Delegates. And I think about what we got done together. I think about all the successes that we had and the, the lives that were impacted as a result of us Democrats being in charge. And you know what, as Speaker of the House, I was proud to appoint Delegate Dolores McQuinn as the Chair of the House Transportation Committee. Why? Because she was the right person for the job. Together, we made record investments in our transportation infrastructure to expand public transportation and honestly, to make our roads safer for all Virginians. Delegate Dolores McQuinn and I worked together on so many important issues. Last year, the two of us founded the Virginia Interfaith Reproductive Liberty Coalition. And together, we crisscrossed the Commonwealth. We held Zoom events, virtual events, in-person events, speaking out against the Republican abortion bans and the threats that they pose, not just to the health of Virginians, but also to our religious liberty. So I am lucky to call Delegate Dolores McQuinn, Dolores, one of my dearest friends. And we have had the opportunity to work together for so many years in the legislature. And I know you all are here because you trust her, because you know Dolores is here as an elected official representing you all for all the right reasons. You know what's in her heart. She speaks the truth. She speaks 
her heart. And she is an incredible member of the legislature. She is a leader and we must, must make sure that she comes back. So it's vital that we reelect Delegate Dolores McQuinn, and I know that's why you're here. You're on this, you're on this Zoom because you trust her and because you have already supported her. So if you've already knocked doors, I ask you to take another packet and knock some more. If you've already written a check, please write another check. If you've already made phone calls, take another couple of hours and make some other calls. And you know what's also helpful? Send out an email to all of your friends, everybody that you know and relatives. Let them know that there is a primary on June 20th because believe it or not, and not everyone knows that. Let them know why you support Dolores, why they need to come out and make sure she's reelected. So we know she's the right person for the job and with her in the house, there is no doubt we can reclaim our majority and you know what that also means? It means that we will protect all of the progress that we achieved when we as Democrats were in control and when I was the 56th speaker. So we know there is nothing more important than this year's elections in the Commonwealth, but a win this year is a critical step to our goal, not just to flip Virginia blue again, but to keep Virginia blue for years to come. So thanks for letting me be on and saying hi to everyone. Enjoy the rest of this great program. And remember, June 20th, vote for Delegate Dolores McQuinn. And I look forward to seeing you all again in person. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Delegate Philicorn, for your kind words and your support of Delegate McQuinn. And what um, Delegate Philicorn didn't say is that she made history as the first woman in Virginia to become the Speaker of the House. She is a trusted colleague and friend of Delegate McQuinn's. And we just want to take this opportunity, Delegate Philicorn, to let you know how much we appreciate all you have done and continue to do for this great Commonwealth of Virginia. All right, now our next talented performer will be the fabulous uh, Carlia Swanson, my co-host. So she's making her way over to the piano. We have a studio set up over here. Uh, and we are going to leave here and go to Delegate McQuinn's house uh, for after party plate. All right. So Carlia, um, I have known her since she was an extremely talented little girl. And now Carlia is an extremely talented PhD student in music at the University of Virginia. It is my pleasure to present Carlia singing, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. And she, and she is dedicated to... Delegate McQuinn. All right, do we need to mute this one? Okay, we have two computers going, so we need to mute one so it won't we won't have an echo.
Thank you so much. That was for you, Delegate McQuinn. And we'll be going back to our main camera. to dedicate this song to Delegate McQuinn because we know that precious Lord uh, is holding her hand and leading her every step of the way um, in this campaign. Precious Lord is one of my favorite songs and I'm so glad you enjoyed it. So next up, we have Dr. Janet K. Copeland coming back to share another spiritual selection, Great is Thy Faithfulness. Dr. Copeland shared with us that one of her favorite scriptures is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through God who strengthens me. She wants to dedicate this song to Delegate McQuinn and remind all of us that as we face challenges, God is always faithful.
Thank you so much, Dr. Copeland. That was amazing. Yes, it was. Thank you so much for blessing us with that. We're here tonight to honor and celebrate Delegate McQuinn and to raise some funds for her campaign. So at this time, we are going to hear from three very special guests who are going to give some personal reflections about Delegate McQuinn. We also want to remind people to please log on to the website below at glue.com to donate. All right, coming to us from backstage is going to be an incredible pastor and a person who is socially conscious and a great community leader. He is the immediate past president of the Baptist Ministers Conference of Richmond and Vicinity, and is currently the senior pastor of Jerusalem Baptist Church in Goochland. Please help me in welcoming Reverend Emmanuel Harris. Hello. Hello, Good hello. Evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. It is truly an honor to speak on behalf of, as I call her, the mother of God, a great friend, um, Delegate Reverend, Delegate Dr. Dolores McQuinn. Uh, she has done so much in the community. She has a heart for the people. And it's so important that we elect people who truly care about other people. I remember being the president of the Baptist Ministers Conference of Richmond and Vicinity, I remember the pandemic. I remember fighting against um, this virus called COVID that was taking many of our matriarchs and patriarchs uh, out of this world. I remember a time of social and civil unrest where there were protests in the streets. I just remember all of these things happening. And I remember almost every night, it, it, at least several nights a week, Delegate McQuinn just calling me late at night to talk about strategy and what needs to be done for the community, what needs to be done for people. I remember coming to her with stories of people who had been overcharged by the system, who had stacked charges, who had really fit witnessed sentencing inequities and social and you know in injustice. And she fought for those people arranged meetings, did whatever had to be done to correct the societal wrongs and societal ills. Delegate McQuinn cares. And as someone who has the heart of the people, someone who fights to liberate the oppressed, I would be remiss if I did not give her my endorsement. I would be remiss if I wouldn't tell you just how much you mean to her, even if she doesn't know you. I would be remiss if I didn't talk to you about her commitment, her long sacrifice. I would be remiss if I didn't tell you how when they were protesting in the street, she said, Emmanuel, we have to do more than protest. We have to change laws. We have to go from protest to progress. And then she had the vision to arrange a meeting and form groups to push for bills and social change. She's a visionary. She's a leader. She's a great woman of God. And we need elected officials like this who have God's heart. So I would just encourage you to give. I would encourage you to vote. I would encourage you to just understand that the, the Delegate McQuinn is a true champion for the people. She cares about you. Why? Because God cares about you and she has God's heart. There's a scripture that says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me as Christ is speaking. He said, because he has sent me to proclaim release to the captives, recovery of sight to, to the blind, to reclaim the year of the Lord's favor, and to liberate those who are oppressed. One of our fundamental beliefs is when it comes to oppression, God is not indifferent. He's on the side of the oppressed. So praise God for the woman of God who fights for the oppressed each and every day, and not just for one or two days, but every day of her life, she's been doing this, as she says, since 1992, and she has not grown tired yet. So just hang in there, Delegate McQuinn. I'm convinced that God has more in store for you, and I'm convinced that the best is yet to come. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Reverend Harris. Uh, he is taking us to church, <laughs> and he is also a man with great vision, and he has done so much for the community and we want to thank him for all that he's done and that he continues to do also. So next, coming to us 
from Northern Virginia is another dynamic legislator who made history as the first woman majority leader for the Virginia House of Delegates. She is another visionary leader and advocate for justice. She's a close friend and trusted colleague of Delegate McQuinn, the Honorable Charnel Herring. We came in at the same time. Hello everyone, I'm Delegate Charnel Herring and thank you so much for turning out to support my good friend, Dolores McQuinn. Dolores has a lot of heart and has been working hard. We came in at the same time in 2009 and steadily she has been building and helping our caucus out. She has been the lead on transportation, chairing that committee, bringing millions of dollars needed to the Commonwealth so we can fund our transportation needs. Dolores has strong, is a strong voice in our caucus and a leader on so many issues. But this election, this primary is crucial. We need Dolores McQuinn back. We need her back. So I'm asking everyone not only to go out and vote for Dolores, but please contribute money. She needs your help. She deserves our help. And Dolores, we love you. And we're proud of all the work that you've done. And I look forward to serving you with you again. Thank you. And thank you so much, uh, Delegate Herring, for your encouragement and your support also. We really appreciate it. Yes, and now we would like to present a constituent who brought a great idea to Delegate McQuinn that ended up as a historical piece of legislation in the Virginia General Assembly, thanks to the hard work and vision of Delegate McQuinn. Please help me welcome the amazing Anita Hill Phillips. Moses. Moses. <laughs> Anita Hill Moses. Anita Hill Moses, and I am a natural In 2019, I had the privilege of attending the Natural Hair Industry Convention in Atlanta, Georgia. During the convention, there was a panel discussion that focused on something called the Crown Act. After the convention, I spoke to some of the lobbyists and the representatives, and they told me what I can do to get the bill passed in the state of Virginia. So when I got back home, I jumped into action. I started looking for delegates that would help me and tell me how we go about accomplishing this goal. And then finally, after much research, I met Delegate Dolores McQuinn. That's why I'm here today. I am here to solicit your support for Delegate McQuinn. I am here to ask you to donate to her fundraising. Running for political office is no easy task, and I don't know how anybody in the world wants to do it, but she does, and she does it well. I'll tell you why. She gave me about 15 minutes of her time. She listened. She never interrupted. I explained it to her. I presented them with the bill from the state of California so they could use that somewhat as a guide. The next thing I know, I received a phone call and said, that the General Assembly is getting ready to convene and Representative McQuinn will be um, introducing this bill to them. Fast forward in March of 2020, the Crown Act was passed into law because of Delegate McQuinn. Now, here's the thing. If you want someone who represents you, you want someone who will listen. You want someone who understands and you want someone who gets it immediately. And for me, that was Dolores McQuinn, because if it were not for her efforts and her office efforts, the Crown Act would not even be a part of history. With Virginia being the fifth or the sixth state to pass that bill into law. So please support Dolores McQuinn I will be contributing to this fundraiser and I will definitely support anything that Dolores McQuinn is a part of because if she believes in it, she will get the job done. So I wish you all the best, Dolores. God bless you and all of your efforts. And I'm looking forward to great things from you moving forward. Thank you for this opportunity. 
We want to thank all of our special guests for those beautiful testimonials and for their friendship and support of Delegate McQuinn. On behalf of Delegate McQuinn and her campaign team, we appreciate your willingness to participate in this virtual event. Thank you, thank you, one and all. And now we have another very special musical guest who is going to put on a mini concert for us. We are fortunate to have R&B artist Langston Lyric with us tonight. He is a devoted artist, musician, songwriter, arranger, producer, and vocalist. He is looking forward to the opportunity to share his music with us. Along with his smooth style, he will immerse you in his unique musical verse. He's committed to singing about the things that affect us in our daily lives, like life, love, and relationships. This man isn't new to music, but his music is new to the world. And now everyone is listening. Please help us welcome to the stage Langston Lyric. I'm Langston Lyric. It's my pleasure to be here tonight to celebrate Delegate Dolores McQuinn because we are here for a McGuinn good time party with a truly great purpose. So let's make sure our candidate represents the 81st district in Virginia come November. Delegate McGuinn has been a strong advocate for the marginalized and vulnerable in our communities. I admire her long-term commitment to addressing food insecurities all across Virginia and her dedication to preserving educational opportunities for all children. As a lifelong resident of Richmond, Virginia, who values the importance of ethical leadership, I pledge $100 to Delegate McGuinn's campaign. I urge each of you to donate to support her also. Although right now, I'm hoping that you will all sit back and relax and allow the talented musicians, vocalists, and myself to introduce you to the Langston Lyric Experience, real music, R&B, and a vibe to soothe your soul. Check this out, and I hope that you truly enjoy have a great evening and thank you. On my mind, not down for the run around. I want to get it right this time. I don't know what to say, don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, yeah. I should take this chance, baby. Take a chance, babe. How I should feel. Could this really be true, babe? I should take this chance and risk my heart with you, baby. Take a chance. Denying you so fine It's hard believing That you would be mine Cause true commitment Is something new to you And having a broken heart Is what I don't wanna do I don't know what to say I don't, don't know, no, 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 no I don't know if I should take this chance, baby Take the chance, baby Chance. Oh, oh. I don't know what to say. 
stranger Cause I'm caught in your spell Obsessed by your touch The thrill of your kiss The feel of your lips I've been captured But I can't, no I won't Resist Cause you only seem to pick up Every single moment I wanna get you out of my mind Cause I'm lost in love's dream girl Baby just go with me This is rapture Show mine, love is got it right this time. Though it's been many years since we shared our first intimate kiss, and then we met love. Then I knew it was more than lust. The feelings I had. Like nothing before you had opened the door Had my heart, had my mind, I was sure you were mine Cause you're all I seem to think of every single moment And I just can't stay away Cause I just can't stay away Cause I breathe
drag you and kiss you down Two times in a day to a concert for real. If you would like to hear more from Langston Lyric, you can check him out at all of his social media sites, which will be listed on the screen. Thank you so much, Langston Lyric. Um, he is a friend of mine, very talented friend, and I am definitely ready to hear more from you. Uh, I was sitting back and enjoying the show and jamming with Carlia. Yes, we both almost forgot we were hosting the event <laughs> and we were relaxing and just sitting back enjoying the music. It was like, oh, wait a minute, time to get back to on task. Um, oh, yes, we are ready for a McQuinn good time party for real good reason. So now it is time to hear from a few more special guests. Let's see who is backstage waiting to share some reflections about Delegate McQuinn. Oh, yes, please. Um, join me in welcoming an outstanding community advocate and a former legislator who has been a trusted friend and colleague of Delegate McQuinn. She is coming to us all the way from the Eastern Shore of Virginia, and she is a dynamic individual also, the Honorable Rosalind Tyler. Come on from backstage. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. And Special greetings to my good friend, Dolores McQuinn, to Johnny, to Daytrail, and her three lovely granddaughters, and JJ. And a special thanks to you as well, Bertie Jameson, who has been working so hard on this virtual fundraiser, even when she was in the hospital bed, to make sure our friend, Dolores McQuinn, is reelected on June the 20th and in the general election on November the 7th representing the 81st House District. I am former Delegate Rosalind Tyler from Southside, Virginia, and I served for 14 years with Delegate McGuinn in the House of Delegates. She has supported me over the years and even came down to rural Southside, Virginia to help me knock on doors during a lot of tough elections in rural Virginia. I have grown to respect her as a legislator of integrity and a friend I can count on and assist in Christ. For years, we were seated beside each other on the Capitol floor, and we had many conversations on the future of Virginia and our communities that we serve. Our relationship over the year grew to the point that I knew her thoughts and she knew mine. 
We both voted for the good of all people, regardless of race or address. And that's a good legislator. Folks who are listening tonight, we need Dolores McQuinn back in Richmond. We need someone there to fight for everyday people like you and I, the working family, and our children. I have walked and stood beside her as she fought to increase minimum wages as we expanded health care so over now 500,000 people in Virginia get health care. And now all four-year-olds in Virginia have an opportunity for an early childhood education. Delegate McQueen is known all over the country for her devout work for preserving our American heritage, but she's continuing to fight for civil rights and equality. That's what we need, a fighter in Richmond. She was bestowed the honor of serving as the, as the first African-American woman to serve as the chairperson of the Transportation Committee and pass the historical transportation bill that will improve our highways, implement fast speed rail, and improve our bridges in the Commonwealth. We need a strong voice in the Commonwealth, someone who cares, someone in Richmond who's going to look out for everyone, and that's Delegate Dolores McQuinn. She cannot return to Richmond without your vote, your prayers, and your financial support. There is still so much work to do on gun control, voter rights, and education. Times are changing right between our eyes, and we cannot turn back the hands of time. Don't stay at home on June the 20th. Your power is in your vote. Re-elect a woman that you can depend on. Join me and give a contribution to Dolores McQueen for delegate, and certainly she needs everyone, so all volunteers are welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Dolores, you got this on June the 20th. Thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you so much, Delegate Tyler. We really, that was so inspirational. You are fired up. <laughs> We got to do it. We got to do All it. Right up. I love it. I love it. We and next, it. We, we have another outstanding member of the Virginia House of Delegates from Hampton, Virginia. She is always ready to stand up for what is right. And she is always immaculately dressed for the occasion. That's a little inside joke um, because I always said that these women, um, all of them, Delegate McQuinn, um, Delegate Tyler, Chanel Heron, all of them, uh, and especially uh, this next uh, legislator, uh, they looked like they were going to a fashion show. Uh, when they stood on the chamber floor to speak, it was truly a beautiful sight to behold. So please join me in welcoming the Honorable Gian Ward. And I am so honored to be here with you. Delegate Juwan Ward, and I am so honored to be here with you this evening as we celebrate Delegate Dolores McQuinn. You know, Delegate McQuinn goes by so many different names. I call her Queen D. I call her Lady D. And sometimes I call her Delegate Dolores McQueen. But there are some other names that I'm sure you don't know anything about. And we started this back in 2020. Dolores McQuinn, Delegate Ross Tyler, and I all sat side by side on the back row. And there was something unique about us because we had all been named the first women and the first black to chair education, transportation, and labor and commerce. So we called ourselves Earth, Wind, and Fire. And we did that because with Roz Tyler, she was just like the earth. It was the most beautiful, majestic planet in the universe, constantly spinning while rotating a little bit towards the sun, sliding, slightly tilting, just enough to change your boat from a no to a yes. Yes, that's why we called her the earth. And then there's me, the wind. Ah, oh, it's kind of cool and refreshing gently blowing through your hair. But when the pressure changes rapidly over a small distant location, strong winds will begin to 
low or way false misconceptions. You might have a tornado or a hurricane uprooting all of your misconceptions violently, changing your vote from a no to a yes. And then finally, last but not least, there is always Delegate Dolores McQueen, and we named her the fire because it all starts with a little tiny spark but it also can be just warm and comforting, just like a fireplace. But if it's met with an accelerant like evil, racism, or injustice, it just explodes into flames of righteous indignation. And it burns up every misconception in the path, and it changes your vote from a no to a yes. That is Delegate Dolores McQueen. She has prayed with Democratic governors Republican governors, anyone who needs prayer. She is there. She is known as the conscience of the entire state legislature. Dolores is someone that we must return to the Capitol. If for no other reason than because she brings food every day. And then I provide to Texas people. God bless you, Dolores. I will see you in January. Thank you so much, Delegate Ward, for those kind words for Delegate McQuinn. And now we are going to get back to some more music. And I'm so excited to introduce this next artist. Her name is Dominique Bianco. And I want to I want to tell you a little bit about her facts. So Dominique is a renowned jazz vocalist who adds her own distinctive touch to jazz standards with remarkable virtuosity, innate interpretive abilities awe-inspiring improv improvisational skills and unique melodic original compositions. Now, this is a quote from Prism's review. At age 21, she released her debut album, I'm All Smiles. The Downbeat award-winning 22-year-old has been mentioned in publications such as Downbeat Magazine, Jazz Times, and many more. Dominique was a finalist in the 20. 22 International Ella Fitzgerald Vocal Competition and is a 2023 Strathmore Artist in Residence. She has performed in some of the most prestigious venues and festivals, including Blues Alley, the Kennedy Center, Smalls NYC, and tonight she is here with us. So please give it up for Dominique Bianco. Hi, Dominique. Hi, Dominique. Unmute. You need to unmute yourself, Dominique. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. Good. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. here. Yes, I'm happy to be here in support of Delegate McQuinn and also my good friend Carlia. So let's get to the music. Do me guard in pond out guard, then dry it. Oh, no, me scrito con le vole. Que hombre di genio no di favola. Con la magia di un incante. Bye. 
are beyond forever you're gonna be mine and i know i've never lived before and my heart is very sure no one else could love you Thank you Thank so, you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Dominique. You. We're gonna, We're gonna keep, keep the show rolling. So next up, I'm so excited to introduce a wonderful artist named Trin. Trinity Cunningham, also known as Trin, has been captivating audiences with her pure tone and rigid voice since childhood. A Richmond, Virginia native, Trinity was jazz and classically trained at Appomattox Regional Governor School for the Arts and Technology and later studied all styles of voice at the University of the Arts, where she recently received a bachelor's degree in vocal performance in 2022. Trinity is also a private voice and piano teacher at the Music Tree School. She hopes to continue her growth in performing and teaching as an artist is thrilled for what's to come in her future. You can find her on social media, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at Soul of Trend and Facebook at Trinity Cunningham. Please welcome to the stage, Trin. Hi, Hi. Trin. Hi, Trin. So honored to be here tonight. If you guys know this song at home, sing along with me. We're gonna spice it up a little bit. Taking my freedom, pulling it off the shelf, putting it on my chain, wearing it round my neck. I'm taking my freedom, putting it in my car, wherever I choose to go, it's gonna take me far. I'm living my life, living my life, living my life. Living my life like it's golden, living my life like it's golden, golden, golden. I'm taking my freedom, can't take it from me. I was born into it, it comes naturally. I'm taking my own freedom, praying to God in me. I'm representing his glory, hope he's proud of me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, it has been a jam-packed night with talent and information. As we move into the final segment of this fundraising event, I want to welcome another very special guest. She has been a close friend and confidant to Zelika McQuinn. She was the youngest person ever to become the chairman of the National Board of Directors for the NAACP. And her impact on social action, spiritual leadership, 
civil rights and healthcare reform is unparalleled. Please help me in welcoming to the stage, the Reverend Dr. Rosalind Brock. Hello. Hey, Hello. Y'all. How's everyone? We're doing Hello. great. Great. Good evening, everyone. Bertie and Dominique, you're doing a phenomenal job this evening. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm having a wonderful, wonderful time being with you all. It is my great privilege to join you this evening in celebration and support for my very, very good friend, Delegate Dolores McQuinn. She is my sister beloved in the civil rights and justice movement. And I have known her for nearly 40 years. Yeah, I said it, nearly 40 years. We don't look like what we've been through. (laughs) But during those years, I found Delegate McQuinn to be a strong woman of faith who practices what she preaches. This woman is not afraid to stand up and be counted in times of chaos and controversy. She's been a faithful friend and a formidable foe for those who seek to roll back the rights of individuals who find themselves living on the margins of society. She's a great listener, my friends, and she encourages and supports community residents to take an active role in partnership with their elective leadership to solve tough social and economic problems of our time. Delegate McQuinn's record of accomplishments is stellar. And I dare say tonight that without spot or wrinkle, she has been a major influence across the Commonwealth, speaking truth to power on behalf of those who look to her for leadership. Yes, she's always fired up and ready to go, as we say in the NAACP. I heard some individuals tonight speak to her record But Delegate McQuinn is a humble woman. You don't see her walking around touting her accomplishments and telling everybody, Lottie Dottie, everybody what she's done for them. So I want to take just a few minutes just to share with you what my friend has contributed to those in her district and across the Commonwealth. She's modernized, helped modernize and increase access to public transportation, preserve historic African-American cemeteries, increase the minimum wage, encourage and expanded voting rights, protected and enhanced women's reproductive rights, reform the criminal justice system, secured paid leave for home health care workers, increase teacher and state pay expanded early childhood education for three and four years old. But most importantly, she has stood in the well of the Capitol and stood firm on behalf of the issues that were important to her and the constituents in her district and across the Commonwealth. As a woman of vision, I believe that my friend is well positioned to continue leading her constituents in the 81st district to higher heights. And so that's why tonight I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm going to be about it. And I'm going to put my money where my mouth is because as we know, as we look across the length and breadth of this nation, we know that elections have consequences. And so I ask you, my friends tonight, to join me in contributing to her campaign by clicking on the act blue link that you see strolling along the bottom of this link on this website tonight. Tonight, I pledge $1,000 to Delegate McQuinn's campaign, the first $1,000, and I'll continue to contribute to her campaign and volunteer as a friend who will be there with her to support her in her efforts to move forward so that she can remain a voice for the voiceless, and she can stand with those who feel that they have no voice as she continues to represent those in the 81st district. I'm just peacock proud tonight that I've been given the privilege to support my friend, the Honorable Delegate Dolores McQuinn, as she continues to look forward to future leadership 
on behalf of the residents of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you so much for the opportunity to say these few words. And thank you so much for those inspirational words and for your generosity. And, um, you know, this is why we love you too. Uh, I, I could have gone on with an introduction that we would still be listening to talking about this woman. Uh, but instead, we, Carlia, and she's Carlia Dominique, um, is going to do a song. The song is going to be dedicated, of course, to Delegate McQuinn, but also to Rosalind Brock, because the person who penned this song and sung it was a civil rights activist. And this song was written as an expression of the change that we all know we deserve. So here is Carlia Swanson with Sam Cooks. A change is going to come. All right, Carlia, turn me off. I love that song. I was sitting here getting chills. So I hope you all enjoyed that. As I wait for my co-host to join me, we're going to move into a very special uh, part of this event. Yes, a very special part. So far, I think we've all really enjoyed our celebration of Delegate McQuinn. I know I have really had fun working with you and the campaign team to help make this possible. Absolutely. And thank you so much for all you've done, Carlia. Um, as we keep saying, it's a McQuinn good time party for a real good purpose. Seriously, we're here for several reasons. The primary focus, of course, is to show our support for Delegate McQuinn, the hardest working state delegate in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and to put some funds into her campaign treasury. And of course, we are thankful to all of you who have joined this celebration virtually we appreciate your generosity and your support. But 
We have another surprise reason to celebrate Delegate McQuinn tonight. We didn't even tell her about this part of the program. It has top secret security clearance, and we have some very special guests waiting backstage. And yes, after working closely uh, with her, I can say without hesitation, it is extremely hard to surprise Delegate McQuinn. So surprise. surprise. As we begin this segment of the program, let me just say that Delegate McQuinn is the best of the best. I always tell her that after her speeches, she accuses me of being biased. But I say, hey, the truth does not need to be defended. Not only is she the best delegate, but she is the best person you ever want to know. The best wife and best mother and best grandmother. So we felt it was appropriate to do a little Mother's Day tribute as part of our talent showcase. Uh, So it is an after party for Mother's Day because we always focus on Delegate McQuinn and her public servant role. But she also is an extremely, um, extremely caring mother, wife, grandmother, friend. And we just felt like we needed to highlight that aspect of her also. Yes, Delegate McQuinn has an extremely talented family. And they are going to share a very special moment with us right now. All right. James J.J. Minor needs no introduction other than he is the proud son of Delegate McQuinn. All right, J.J., What do you have to say at this time? I hope you can pull yourself away from the party and do what you do. (laughs) Okay, you you need to unmute. Oh, need to unmute? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, we can hear you now. All right. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all so much to the Honorable Bertie Jameson and and all who helped. Uh, put this on for mom. You know, I appreciate you all and love you all dearly. You know, my sister and I have known Dolores McQueen all of our lives. We just didn't know that everybody else who knows her feels like they have known her all of their lives also. Mom has a wonderful way of making everyone she meets feel special. Every young person she meets becomes her child. Every person her age becomes her sister or brother. Every person, a little older person, becomes her auntie or uncle. Well, you get the picture. We have a very large extended family because of the love of my mother has shown to so many people. I have been selected to represent the family in presenting the Honorable Dolores McQuinn with this engraved crystal vase. And it says, the Honorable Dolores McQuinn, beloved wife, mother, and Gilo, the best of the best, 2023. Let's give it up for Delegate Dolores McQuinn. All right, thank you, thank you. And so now um, we are supposed to hear from your sister, right. Jay Trev. Right. And she's gonna come forward okay. with another tribute for your mom. So did you y'all give her the flowers? Yes, she is. We have a little oh, video first. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. Congratulations, right. congratulations so Mom, and good luck. As you have shown, have you have shared your talent and wisdom? Not only with the, with us, but just with the world. So we thank you for that. And now I present my beautiful sister, Daytrell McQueen Nazasi. I've heard that it was a seed recorded that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor chord and the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Well, maybe there's a God above. As for me, all I've ever learned from love is how to shoot somebody who overdrew you. But it's not a crime that you hear tonight. It's not some pilgrim who claims to have seen the light. But no, it's a cold and it's a very broken hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Now I've done my best, I know it wasn't much I couldn't feel, so I tried to touch I told the truth, I didn't come here just to fool you And even though it all went wrong I'll stand right here before the Lord of Song With nothing on my tongue but holly Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. All right, Detrell, are you going to introduce our next special guest? Or do you want us to? I can. Okay. All right. You look beautiful. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> so my fun part, uh, JJ and I realized um, that we sort of lost our priority privileges when three little baby girls were blessed into our family. And they are my daughters, Story Haven and Tressa Grace. Uh, sometimes JJ and I just shake our heads um, as we watch all the stuff that they get away with um, that we were getting fussed at um, constantly as, as children. Um, so to close this talent portion and showcase down tonight, I proudly present my two oldest daughters, Story and Haven, with a tribute to their very own golden girl, affectionately called Gilo. Thank you. Now, that was just too much for me. I am dabbing my eyes and smiling. Um, thank you to the entire McQuinn family for sharing your, fan, your mother with us. And I must say, we especially love the performance of Story and Haven. We agree with them. Delegate McQuinn, thank you for being our friend. Absolutely. Their performance is going down in the history books is epic. Uh, and yes, Delegate McQuinn, thank you for being our friend. And thank you for being our delegate. We see that the talent within the McQuinn family is incredible, starting with Delegate McQuinn and flowing down to her children and grandchildren. And now we want to bring just one more special family member on stage, and that will be Delegate McQuinn's sister, um, to share some reflections and to bring us back to our major um, goal is 
making sure we put some funds in the campaign coffers. So at this time, we're going to bring to the stage uh, Brenda Jordan Shelton. My friend, I was able to say a few words in support of her campaigning for Hello, my name is Brenda. I'm the sister of Dolores McQuinn. I was asked to say a few words in support of her campaigning for delegate of the 81st district. Of course, I've known Dolores all my life, so I can attest to the woman she is and the woman she's always been. She has always been a strong supporter for those that have the least, and she has always been a servant leader. Dolores loves working for the people of her communities, in particular, the young and the young at heart. I've always known her to be a woman of God with many gifts and to see her apply those gifts in helping others is amazing. Dolores has allowed God to direct her path and it is my belief that God doesn't change who you are, he amplifies who you are. And so in her desire to help a few, God led her into the field of politics which opened space for her in helping many. Dolores has worked tirelessly for Virginians and on the behalf of our family, we thank you all for your support. With that said, I'm challenging family and friends today to make a donation of $50 or more to Dolores McQuinn's campaign for delegate in the 81st district. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Shelton, for your reflections and for that closing challenge for campaign donations. Remember, you can make your donation by going to Act Blue, and we have had the link strolling across the screen all night. This has been an incredible night of fun and talent and celebration. And we wanted to end in a timely fashion. We're running a few minutes over, but it's been so much fun. Um, we definitely need to give our honoree a few minutes for remarks and reflections. Um, so the floor is yours, Delegate McQuinn, um, to bring your reflections and remarks. And then I know you guys are going to be uh, enjoying some soul food and desserts. All right, Delegate McQuinn. Can I do it? Now? Oh, wait. Hmm? Come on. Listen, uh, this has been such an amazing night. I am just so, again, humbled and honored uh, to just uh, be. I guess the 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 this, all of this being done to just uh, recognize the work that I've done and the many people who are part of my life. Birdie, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for your hosting of this and putting pulling this together. This has truly been class one act, and uh, we can take this show on the road. Um, all of those many persons who have impacted my life in such a phenomenal way. I thank them and I thank you. And uh, this has been, just like I said, I'm just overjoyed um, in terms of what has had taken place tonight and the many individuals both virtually and here uh, in person who's been a part of this. And to all of my friends who came on tonight to just support me, Thank me. Thank you. God bless you. And I pray that God would just uh, 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 there be bountiful blessings coming your way for what you have poured into me tonight. God bless you. Love you all. And again, thank you so much for this opportunity. All right. And we are holding up the campaign information. <laughs> so good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. And thank you for uh, contributing, and we look forward to seeing everyone virtually. We're going to be knocking on doors and making phone calls the next few weeks. All right, we love you. Have a good night. Good night. Love you. Thank you. Good, good night. Right, bye bye.